Well, greetings and solutions. Welcome back to the Appalachian Outfeed. So today we're working on uh, extracting slick chain link fence post from the ground. We bought this place a few years ago. Uh, the backyard had a chain link enclosure and it did the job, but uh, we never really were in love with the visual effects with it. Didn't really go with the place in general. So we put up a uh, larger field fence that I guess you can probably see behind me. And I finally got around a little while ago to taking down the chain link fence. And I've been putting off pulling these uh, chain link fence posts because I knew, I thought it was gonna be kind of a booger of a job. Hadn't really been that bad, but it's been a little tedious. Uh, this is post number 24. I've learned a few things along the way and I thought I'd share that with you guys. So that's what this video is. So as typical, we don't have very many fancy tools that we're using to do this. Uh, what I've got is an old uh, ratchet strap strap that I've tied a fixed loop in using a bowling knot. And uh, so on post number 23, <laughs> my other end, my other loop that I had tied broke on me and uh that cut me a little back flip literally but uh probably should have got that one on film but i didn't so be careful about that we'll talk about that when we get into this but so this thing held up for almost two dozen posts and there's nothing fancy about this again this is just a pliable ratchet strap loop that i tied a bowling in and made me a fixed loop on this and i'm going to use this to uh connect the high lift jack, which is my other main tool, to the post uh, using a prussic knot. So the prussic is kind of the key, well, one of the main keys to this whole thing. And if you don't know what that is, look it up online. It's uh, pretty straightforward. We'll go through that with you guys real quick right now. I want to tie this down at the base of the uh, post when we get busy but just for demonstration purposes so I'm just gonna put my loop up on the post with one end kind of close to the post gonna run it through one time so that's like a horse hitch or a half hitch and I've got this portion here right come through one more time and come through the middle what I just came through and try to clean it up a little bit uh, it seems like the flatter the webbing sits on the post the better it grips but we'll talk about how to tighten this thing up uh, if it's not biting real good uh, but that that's really just it there's nothing fancy about this and what you end up with is in theory a, uh, a strap that won't slide up the post so this is why we're not using chain or cable or anything because I don't think any of that stuff would bite into this metal. This stuff is just as slick as it can be. Uh, one thing I have done is every post, I take my gloved hands and uh, run it up and down the post a few times to clean the grass clippings and stuff like that so it's getting a good bite on actual somewhat clean metal. But again, it's nothing fancy at all. Uh, but that's the Prusik knot. Uh, and again, there you can look on YouTube and uh, find so even mostly when I've been doing this, there's been some slack in the system, but I'm able to get the slack out. And again, we'll talk about how that how to do that in a second. So since we got this thing tied, I'm gonna go ahead and run it all down to the base of, base of the post. Now I've been using a little two by six that I picked up along the way uh, to set the base of the jack on. That's not terribly necessary. I've used it for about the last half dozen uh, posts that I've done. And it, it seems to help a little bit. It keeps the jack from sinking into the ground. I had one post where I was just really pushing the jack into the ground rather than picking the post up. Uh, I haven't been able, every post I, I haven't been able to uh, predict which posts are going to be hard which are going to be easy some, some are obvious uh, but for the ones that uh, are recalcitrant 
I'm using that pry bar back there with my handy rock uh, to get on the opposite side of the jack and pry up a little bit and that seems to break it loose. That's the thing about these posts, once you get them broke loose a little bit, they tend to come on out, tend to. Uh, so that, that's, it's, it's all about getting it started and just using the leverage of the jack to, to get them out. All right. So we got our prussic down at the base of the post. The other thing I did on a few of them had really heavy grass growth. And I went ahead and took a shovel and dug around the post so I'm not fighting the grass roots. But um, with this one, I just took the uh, heel of my boot and kicked it and saw I wasn't working with uh, too much grass. So not going to fool with the, the shovel. So one thing that turns out to be pretty critical in terms of getting the, uh, the prussic to bite really well is having the nose of the jack right in line with the top of the knot. If you get off center, then uh, the jack really wants to uh, kind of flip to either side of the post, and that is not helpful. Uh, so if we can get right above the knot, and I think that probably just gives us better, better pulling as well. Um, when you get it right, you kind of know it. All right, so that's what we're going for right there. If you guys can see that. So that's kind of the setup. And there we go. So that's really it. So hopefully that prussic will catch pretty quick. So as you start jacking, what you'll find is when you get some real tension on the on the strap, this nose is pushing into the post. Now I've been a few posts right at the base um, with this that were uh, where the post didn't want to come out, but uh, for the most part they're coming they're coming out pretty well. Uh, so so we're just gonna keep jacking here. Oh, there goes my prussic. Ah. All right, that's the worst it's slipped in a while. I'm going to blame you guys. Let's see if we can get this prussic reset. So I got a good bit of pressure on that strap. Earlier, after I broke that other strap, I broke the other end of it, uh, when I retied it, it was a much shorter loop. And the shorter loop didn't work as well as the longer loop. So that's why I had to reconfigure it on this end, on this other end. Uh, so yeah. 
So you got to be careful when you're doing this because as you're putting tension on this strap, you got a, this flat piece of the nose of the jack trying to butt up against this round cylinder on the pole. And it will absolutely come off the pole and it does it kind of quick. You want to keep your hand away from the top of the jack because it'll get pinned and pinched in between that and the pole. If you're going to hold on to it, hold down a little bit lower. Now, I'm going to probably put one more crank on this dude. You can see maybe two things are happening. I'm seeing dirt moving and I'm also seeing uh, the pole bending a little bit. And at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the pull the jack, and that's going to do two things. It's going to tighten that prusik up, I think, has in the past, and it's going to probably start to dislodge the uh, the pole itself. Hopefully. Well, it's not doing either one because my stinking not slipping. Let's see if it'll catch. This, of course, first time this has gone on. I don't know if it's because I got a new piece of strap and it's not. There it goes off the post. That's what I was talking about. <laughs> yep. Here again, I have not been able to predict post which are going to be easy which are going to be hard honestly i thought this was going to be an easy one <laughs> but i see the we're starting to break a little bit of dirt where it's coming up so we're just going to kind of keep with it and that is really The story of this whole process uh, just keep working it and these posts will come out um, that's pretty tough I will say that when you're sitting that prusik knot on a lot of my posts there was some concrete residue on the bottom of the post and that really helped the, that strap grab onto it mm. man i'm really cranking on this thing <laughs> All right, so here we go. Once that sucker starts to move, you pretty much got her. Yep. And then from there, we should be able to crank up on it a little bit more. So when I'm cranking, the post is leaning away from me. And that's fine because I'm going to use the jack pull on it some more and lever it back out of the hole. Alright. That's pretty much it. Press it comes off super easy. Boom, we're done. Now all I gotta do is figure out where I'm getting enough dirt <laughs> to fill in 25 post holes. That's another issue. All right, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, I hope this helps somebody out there. And, uh, that's it. We got a beautiful spring day here at the Appalachian Outfeed. Probably in the upper 50s. Very sunny. Had our uh, military Navy jets come over a while ago. 
that was a little kick in the pants. Of course, I didn't have the GoPro going. It's the way it goes. I hope to get that for you guys one day. Um, haven't even been able to capture it on my phone uh, when they come over. But uh, all right, so that's where we're going to leave it. If you have any comments or critiques on the technique, any helpful suggestions that'll help somebody else out, leave them in the comments below. Hit that thumbs up button down there and uh, subscribe if you hadn't. Until next time, we'll see you.